Hello guys, I'm Marek. Uh, as I promised in the previous episode, I will talk about everything, but mostly about fencing. And this time I'd like to tell you something about weapons used in MCF, Modern Classical Fencing. Uh, one of them is Small Sword, which is my favorite weapon, like Rapier and Saber. The, those are my favorite weapons too. So, small sword. Uh, remember that this is not a historical channel, so I will not tell you in this moment a lot about history of, of this weapon. I will just I will just tell you what we what we are using it for. So, why have we uh, chosen this type of small sword for our competitions? Uh, so, this one has considerably big guard to cover your hand enough. And from the other point of view, it's small enough to be convenient and uh, considered as a small sword, not a light rapier. So, it's a good weapon, to very, very precise. Uh, very sophisticated in how you use it. The blade is the length of the regular uh, sport EP, which is quite longer than most of the historical small sword. Why is that so? Well, uh, we are taller and I believe much stronger than our pre predecessors. Uh, and we train as a train fencing as a sport, so we can use something a uh, little longer easily. And uh, I think it's somehow comparable. Uh, another interesting uh, thing about small sword is that it's uh, sophisticated enough uh, to make a fight reassembling the very very quick uh, quick chess match and uh, you have to really re you have to think and to think really really quickly especially considering that uh, in our competition double hit is uh, costing you points you you are losing fight if you get two of two of them so the second second double hit make you make you losing losing fight which is a uh, very big, uh, big factor when it when it comes to how 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 do we fight with with with, with weapon? In uh, three weapons cup, we use small sword, rapier, and saber. And small sword is very very swift, precise weapon, which uh, demands. Uh, very precise control over over distance, uh, very carefully landed hits, and in general, in general only trusts. Another thing is that when you uh, misjudge somehow a distance, uh, it can easily come to close combat, which is also important part of MCF. So the small sword has it all and in next episodes I will talk you more about small sword, some more details and then we will, we will pass to another, another weapons we use. Uh, I don't know if this uh, formula of, of vlogging about fencing is, is what's, what's best. Uh, I feel like it because I've got a lo lot of things to, to, to say about fencing. I'm doing this for more than 20 years now. Although it's hard for me in technical terms, uh, usually I'm speaking about it in Polish, not in English, so it's also some difficulty. So I hope we will learn together. You will learn fencing a bit. I will learn uh, how to make this vlog. For now, I made myself a promise to make at least one video a week. I'm not sure if it's 
even possible, considering uh, that I've got a school to run. But I will try and stay with me. Tell me what do you think, what do you want to hear. And of course, ask me questions. I love to answer questions about fencing. So, hit the subscribe button, hit this bell. If you'd like to know more about uh, how to exercise some fencing movements and uh, you'd like to learn fencing in more practical way, uh, definitely check the channel of uh, Miss Fencing. She's a girl doing MCF and I think you can learn a lot from this channel. Uh, she's showing there some technical details and uh, enjoy the channel, enjoy the fencing. See you soon.